Only two players in NBA history have ever had this type of season. Magic Johnson and James Harden. I'm going to give you a list of every player to average 21 points per game, 11 assists per game, and have 61 true shooting percentage. That's 1989 and 1990 Magic Johnson, who won the MVP both those seasons. 2017 James Harden, who finished second in the MVP voting. And 2023 James Harden, who somehow is not an all-star. The biggest snub in all-star history. It's unforgivable that the NBA put in some other dudes over James Harden. And he feels the disrespect right after those lineups came out for the all-star game. He even posted on his Instagram story saying the disrespect. I'm just waiting for James Harden to get his flowers, man. Everybody always talks bad about James Harden. He's never given just these positive moments or positive reaffirmation. Everyone wants to talk about James Harden in a negative light. He's grossly underappreciated as a superstar. We spend so much time talking about guys like Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook in his prime and all these other people. We don't realize how great James Harden's been. He's averaging 21 and 11, and he's the second option on a top four or five team in the NBA right now, and he didn't even make the All-Star game. Statistically, he's having seasons like Magic Johnson, one of the top 10 players of all time, and they're the only two to have these type of seasons. The dude is number seven on NBA.com's MVP ladder. Everyone knows NBA.com puts out their list of their top MVP candidates all the time, and James Harden sitting at seventh, and he didn't make the All-Star game. And just wait for the two names I put over him and the names that you get to hear these statistics and compare them. Let's not forget, before I get to the new names, James Harden is averaging 21.4 points per game. He's averaging 11 assists, 6.4 rebounds per game. This guy's almost averaging a triple-double, and he's averaging a 61.9 true shooting percentage and number seven on the MVP list. But somehow, he's not an all-star. But let me tell you who is. Tyrese Halliburton, averaging less points, 20.2. Averaging less rebounds, 4. Averaging less assists at 10.2. And have a worse true shooting percentage at 61.3. And then there's Drew Holiday. Now, I'll add this. Drew Holiday obviously plays good defense, so you have to put that into consideration. But Drew Holiday is averaging less points as well, 19.4. Less rebounds per game at 5.3. Less assists per game at 7.2 and a 56.5 true shooting percentage. It's unbelievable that James Harden's getting snubbed. And on top of that, if we look at it, the 76ers have been one of the hottest teams in basketball. We're not talking about a team that's just been floating at a six or seven seed. We're not talking about a team that's been underperforming. We're talking about a team that just came off a seven, eight game winning streak before losing a game, but they were the hottest team in basketball for a two week stretch. Joel Embiid and James Harden have been a duo that everybody's kind of made fun of or doubted, but they've actually turned out pretty great. I'm not saying they're my favorite to win an NBA title. I'm not saying James Harden should be an MVP uh, this year. I know he's seventh on the list, but I'm just saying that when you have a guy who's playing like a top 10 player in the NBA, he's the number two option on a top five team in the NBA. He's number seven on the MVP ladder and he doesn't make the all-star game. It shows we have a true problem with the way this voting thing works and the all-star game needs to be fixed. Now they did fix it, right? They fixed it with the whole draft content. I made a video about that a couple days ago. They fixed it with the draft concept right before a game. You get to draft the players. But we have to do a better job about actually who gets into the All-Star game. It shouldn't just be fan voting. There shouldn't be all this huge, you know, huge option of fan voting. Now, it's important. You want the fans to see their players. But last year, for example, Andrew Wiggins was a starter in the All-Star game because some K-pop singer, a Korean pop singer, loved Andrew Wiggins and got everyone to vote for him. And he was a starter when he shouldn't even have been an All-Star. He was a borderline All-Star. He was playing all right, but he wasn't a starter in the All-Star game, but he made it in there. So they got to do something to fix this. This disrespect is unbelievable. The guy's averaging almost 22, 7, and 11, and he's not an all-star game and he's the number two to a guy like Joel Embiid who might win an MVP this year playing in the city of Philadelphia. It's actually crazy. And I, I can't understand the concept that this guy's not in there and the disrespect that he continues to get. Let's fix this and let's get James Harden some of his flowers, man. This guy deserves it. My goodness.